Now that we've been introduced to layout managers in Java, let's implement a simple layout by adding a few more components to our GUI demo class. Here is our expected output. By the end of this video, we're going to use a flow layout manager in order to create this layout. Flow layout is very simple. It just lays the components out from left to right. If there's extra space, the row of components will be centered. Let's start by importing a few more classes that we'll need to continue working on our project. Let's import javax.swing.jlabel and let's import javax.swing.jtextField so that we can add components of these types. A J label will allow us to display some text, and a J text field lets us add input text fields that the user can type in. And then let's import java.awt.flowlayout so that we can use a flow layout manager. And finally, we import java.awt.container so that we can declare a variable for the content pane, which is of the container data type. Okay, so now we can begin adding more components to our GUI. But first, let me change the variable or the field name for my button here. Since I'm adding another one, I'm gonna name this one button one instead. So I'm gonna change the field name here, and then in the constructor, I'll change it to button one as well. And here in the setup GUI, change that as well. And finally, here in the setup button listeners, I will change this to button one as well. And then let's go back here to our fields and let's declare a field for the J label. Let's call it label. And then let's declare a field for the J text field. Let's call this one input. And then let's declare a field for the second button. Let's name this one button two. And then let's go inside the constructor and instantiate the new components. Label is equal to new J label. And in the parentheses, I'll put a string that says hello. This will be the text that gets displayed in the JLabel. And then let's make the J text field. Input is equal to new J text field. And in the parentheses, we can optionally specify a width for our text field. I'll give it a value of 10. This will make the J text field have a width of 10 columns. And then Let's make our second button. Button two is equal to new J button. And then for the label, let's just say button two. And then let's change the label of button one as well. Let's say button one. And now that we have all of our new components, Let's go to our setup GUI method and add the necessary code to add these new components and set the layout. First, let's get access to the content pane. Let's declare a container variable. Let's name it CP. And then let's assign to it the content pane by typing equals frame dot get content pane. Frame is the name of our JFrame and the get content pane method will access the JFrame's built-in content pane. Every JFrame automatically has a content pane. There's no need for us to make one and each JFrame will only have one content pane. Now let's make the layout manager. Let's declare a flow layout variable named flow. 
then type equals and then say new flow layout and then parentheses. So this creates an instance of a flow layout manager object. And then our next step would be to set the container to use this layout manager. We do that by typing cp.setLayout and then in parentheses we pass our layout manager named flow. Now that we've set the layout, let's go ahead and add our components using the add method. But instead of invoking the add method on the JFrame object, let's invoke the method on the container object instead. So let's remove this line that says frame.add button one. And then let's add the text field first. So we add it to the content pane. So we type cp, which is the name of our content pane, dot add, and then in parentheses, input, which is the name of our text field. And then let's add the JLabel, cp dot add label. And then let's add the two buttons, cp dot add button one, and cp dot add button two. The components will be added in the order specified in this series of add statements. So the text field gets added first, followed by the label, followed by the two buttons. And that's it. Let's test this out. Okay, so make sure you save your code and then let's compile the program. Java C asterisk.java. And then let's run it. Java GUI tester. And here's our new GUI with the updated components. Here's the text field with the width of 10 columns that we specified. One column is as wide as one letter M, so we should be able to fit 10 M's here without exceeding the space. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. And then we can actually type in more letters, but the earlier letters will get pushed out of the available area. And then here is the J label with the text hello and our two buttons. The original button still works. If we click on it, uh, it actually still says click because we didn't remove the event handler code. So this is a basic example using the flow layout. We'll take a look at more layout examples in upcoming videos.